The Soybean School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Pride Seeds, Nodulator Pro, and Cruiser Max Vibrance Beans. Kelvin Hepner with Real Agriculture at Crop Connect here in Winnipeg, joined by Lauren Grieger with the Prairie Agricultural Machinery Institute, better known as PAMI, and Lauren uh, with the adoption of more soybean acres in, in Western Canada, more producers getting into uh, well that learning curve of how to grow soybeans, and PAMI's done some research looking at harvest equipment. Can you fill us in on, first of all, what PAMI examined comparing different methods of, of taking beans off? Yeah, in 2016 and also in 27 last year, we're looking at different types of headers and how that can affect uh, losses uh, during harvest time. So we examined the losses from a auger header with and without an air system, as well as a draper header to see how that different type of header can affect your overall losses on loose pods or loose seeds, pods, and, and uh, lodge stocks to understand the losses at, right at the head itself. Okay, so how did you compare that? How did you measure, make those measurements to figure out what, where beans were being lost and, and what was being lost? Uh, we set up a trial in field, so we had uh, two combines set up with the headers that we wanted, and then we uh, cut swaths and did replicates at different speeds over four different replications. We had lots of lots of data to choose from, and then at that point, it's just counting beans lost on the ground. So it's a lot of a lot of seeds that are just counted by hand. It's a manual method, but it's the the most accurate way to get losses at different uh, variations of equipment types or speeds as well. Yeah, a little easier than canola, at least I guess. It's a little easier than yeah. canola. You, beans you can find quite easily. Yeah. Yeah. So what did you find? What, uh, what were some of the takeaways from the study? Uh, most recently here in, in 2017, we found that when we added an air system, it actually decreased the losses by about a bushel an acre, which is quite significant on both the draper header as well as on the auger header that we were using. So that was really the biggest uh, finding that we had this past year, where a lot of people, if they're using a draper header, they haven't added an air system. And this year we found that the conditions we had with the year that was and the uh, harvester setup as it was, it really made a difference in our trials this year. Okay, so keep the air system on or, or add an air system if you don't have one? That's one option to look at definitely if you're looking to reduce losses, at least in the setup that we had for this past year mm -hmm. as well. So. So does the, the dry condition that we had in, in 2017 factor into those findings, do you think? I think part of the growing season that we had did affect it just because it was just a dry year and yields were down a little bit. And that bottom pot was slightly lower to the ground than we've seen previously, so that may have affected to some of the results we saw this year. Okay. What about the speed? The differences in how fast you're driving while combining? Yeah, speed can definitely affect the, the losses that you see. In, in 2016, we really saw a difference where as you got higher up past about uh, four to five mile an hour, Things that were, you started to see more losses at that point. This year, we didn't see that in the trial that we had with the variety and the conditions. We saw similar losses from four to six mile an hour this year, which is uh, a bit different from other studies and, and trials that we've done previously in that regard. Are there plans to take this study further? Uh, we propose to do additional work in 2018, and if funding is approved, then we'd like to do additional field trials in 2018 and, and do additional study to that. Try and get a better trend and see if how much the growing season and equipment setup can affect your overall losses. Okay. And, and, so that would be to eliminate some of the, the variability that could be due to the growing season. Are you going to look at other aspects of the, the combine or, or equipment setup at all? Uh, most uh, really for doing it, it's the growing season that, that can really affect yeah. that. We'd also look at the angle potential of the head as well to see how much that angle can affect your, your losses, especially when you're getting close to the ground. Make sure you're cutting that bottom pod. If you're, if you're riding up and, and changing that angle, it can potentially cut the bottom pod. So that's really what we want to look at this year, coming moving in 2018 if it's approved. All right. Well, thanks for your time, Lauren. Thank you.